Welcome to another mini video from 2dgameartguru.com. Today I'm working in Affinity Designer version 3 to show you how to add transparency to bitmap images. Start with a non-transparent raster image. I have a JPEG file here, a logo I use all the time. And the fastest way to turn it transparent in Affinity Designer is by changing the layer blend mode. From normal to multiply and the Y will be erased turn it to add and the black will be erased. This is an internal display option only. It needs a background below though. Without the orange shape below, the multiply is no longer working. You can't see the checkerboard and it won't export as a transparent file. Let's use a pixel selection instead. I go to the pixel studio, choose selection and the tonal range highlights. This selects all the white areas. I can press the delete key and delete the selected areas. The problem are the non-selected pixels, a little darker gray and they will show up. If I change the setting and erase everything but the black, I will get rather rugged edges. Let's try the new image trace. In the Vector Studio, you can select a bitmap image and go to Vector Image Trace. It will turn the pixel image into vector objects. Once I delete the white background and combine the other shapes with a Boolean XOR to cut the white parts out of the black, I end up with a clean and scalable vector object. The downside is the rather rudimentary setup of the image trace. The higher the quality of your source image, the better the vector output will be. Let's try another approach, this time by using a mask. Create a shape below the image and use the image as a raster mask on top. I create a rectangle, give it a black fill and move it down in the layer stack. Select the image, add an adjustment layer invert to it. The masks work with black as the transparent color and white as the opaque color. Drag the adjustment layer into the image so it only applies to the image or group it with the image. The result can then be turned into a raster mask. The mask is applied to all layers below. In this case, there's just the black rectangle. I can change the color of the rectangle, give it a gradient fill or add shapes on top of the rectangle to give certain segments a different color while not impacting the transparency of the design. The gray pixels that were a problem with the pixel selection are now transparent, retaining the smooth look of your original image. Keep in mind that not all file formats support transparency. JPEG has no transparency. PNG allows transparency. PNG 8 just has one bit for transparency. It's either transparent or non-transparent. As a result, you get a jagged edge. TIFF allows transparency. If you save as a PDF, it will allow transparency. I hope you enjoyed this little mini video and learned something new. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like and a comment and I will see you again soon.